How does social network analysis impact an organization's uh, KM program? And uh, how does a consultant or a KM consultant implement social network analysis? Those are great questions. Social network analysis has actually been around since the 1930s. I first came across it in 1989, and I was really was surprised that companies weren't using social network analysis to understand knowledge flows and information flows. Uh, now, uh, 20 years later, we're seeing that people actually are using social network analysis and social graphs for exactly that purpose to help define where uh, the, the good uh, helping people are, the connector people that, that tend to facilitate the flows of information across different groups. There's some um, structural roles that people play in social networks. And knowledge management uh, has, has actually been an early adopter of social network analysis. The marketing people, of course, have discovered it for uh, targeting products. But the KM people actually discovered it even before that. And they use it to understand how people are sharing, particularly in a particular expertise area. Uh, they also use it to define decision making. There's been some excellent work uh, in this area, and some of the best books are by Rob Cross and Patty Anklum. And there are more and more uh, good uh, authors presenting how you can use social network analysis for organizational network analysis. There are some cautions about how to implement uh, social network analysis. Just because an individual shows up as a very good connector in the social network does not necessarily mean that they are a better or worse employee than anyone else. It just means that they uh, have created more connections, that they perhaps may be uh, more socially adept and more interested in connecting people and communities. So one of the major risks here is that, that companies are often tempted to use social network graphs for performance evaluation, and that is a very dangerous thing to do. So we always encourage people who are interested in, in implementing social network analysis to work with one of the, the really good qualified people who've worked with, with it in organizations who are sensitive to these issues and will make sure that as a technology, as a methodology, it does not get misused. So okay. some really important uh, qualifications there. Uh, given that, uh, there are many, many good uses for social network analysis to understand knowledge flows and to help locate expertise.